So we have names for our breeding pair of mini La Manchas. This one that was River's baby. His name is Nile, like the Nile River. And then this over here, this baby doll's baby, is Brooke, like a babbling Brooke. So there's Nile and Brooke. And there's someone chewing on me down here. <laughs> Look at that little face. She is so pretty. Oh. Some coyotes. Oh, there they go. Bye bye, babies. So today was the first day we milked for us. I've been milking out for the baby goat um, and then I started just putting him on the milk stand with her three times a day. I've cut it down to twice a day. He's eating some feed and hay and he actually has been stealing, uh, sneaking milk off of baby doll so he's not starving uh, when I get to him. Who is nibbling on me? It figures it's you, Kai. Um, <laughs> and uh, and so, Savannah is enjoying so the Savannah, milk. who did we just milk? Shelly. Yep, Shelly's feeding two babies. And we haven't been milking her much. But we got this today, right? Yes. Yep, and it's full. Do you want to taste it? Yeah. Okay, it's our first taste of goat milk. Go ahead. <laughs> She's like, can I actually do it? We had been saving it for the baby, but the baby's drinking off of her, so. Is it good this time? Is it good? It's a little bit fuzzy. A little bit fuzzy? <laughs> I'll try some in a little bit. She's still drinking the milk. You're going to have a bellyache if you drink a whole quart of milk. <laughs> Is it good? Hey, you going to breathe? <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> I do believe Azora is bred. Um, as you know, we lost the buck, and so I didn't get everybody bred. I did put her in with Ray. Actually, I put all of them in with Ray for about a week. And um, so I know it wasn't really likely to catch a heat cycle, but... She's getting, she's not only getting a little wide, of course they're on fresh grass and they get a little wide anyway, but she's getting a little wide and I noticed today when she was scratching her ear that she is starting to bag up. And this will be her first live birth. Last year she got bred accidentally and um, she was only a year old at that point and the, uh, the, not, the smaller goats that's fine and I guess some people go ahead and breed their standard goats at that age but um, but in my opinion she was too young but she did go ahead and abort last year we had to uh, take her to the vet and have her cleaned out that was a mess I don't really want to repeat that again but I think maybe she's bred and gonna have babies this year that'll make me very happy I want to see what she comes out she is a Malcolm baby She's um, a Shelly and Malcolm baby, and so I kind of want to see her babies and how she does and how her udder develops. I really do want to see that because I know Shelly has a good udder, and he was supposed to come from good milk lines, but I just haven't, um, I haven't raised any, <laughs> this goat is behind me chewing on me. I haven't raised any of his babies, so I want to see for myself how good her udder is this year. So I'm excited about that.